Hey everyone, this is Jeremy from CyberPower PC. Very rarely do we run into errors with Windows, but sometimes it can happen. With critical errors, it causes you not to be able to boot into the operating system. And I understand that that can be very confusing and frustrating. The solution to fixing these critical errors is fairly simple, actually. So if you're interested in reinstalling Windows or you're having these type of critical errors, let me show you how it's done. For this tutorial, we're going to need you to have a secondary computer handy. So if you have a friend or family member that you can use theirs, go ahead and do so. We are also going to be downloading a software, so you're going to need a portable media device, meaning a USB stick or a hard drive that has 8 gigs or more of data available for you to use. So once you have a secondary computer and a portable media device, we're going to head over to the Windows 10 download page to download the Windows Media Tool. Once the download has completed, go ahead and begin running the application, and then click on the option that reads Create Installation Media for Another PC. Once you get to the Select Language, Architecture, and Edition section, and all the bars are grayed out, just go ahead and uncheck the Use the Recommended Settings for this PC. Change the edition to Windows 10 if it's not on there already, and the same goes for Architecture. Use 64-bit, go ahead and click Next. Choose USB Device. In the next section, it will ask you to select a USB flash drive. So depending on which drive you are using, make sure you know the label of yours that you want to install this media tool on. After choosing the device, it will begin downloading the tool onto that drive. Now keep in mind that this will erase anything that is currently on the flash drive or hard drive. So back up any important documents, videos, or text files that you may have on this device. Once the application has finished downloading the tool onto your portable media device or hard drive, we're going to begin the process of installing Windows onto your PC. Now go ahead and connect the portable media device or hard drive to the PC. Once you've connected it to the PC, we're going to go ahead and head over into the BIOS. So press F2 or delete depending on the motherboard and head to your boot priorities and change the boot priority to the device that we just connected. After you've completed the boot order, click save and exit. You will have two options to choose from, but the one we will be picking for this instance is installing Windows. Once in the installer, click on I don't have a product key, since you have a Windows license with your computer already. Click on Windows 10 Home. Read the terms and conditions, click accept, and then click next. Since we are going to be modifying our internal drives, go ahead and click on custom install. We are now going to be clicking delete on each partition of our OS drive. Once you have done this successfully, you will have a single partition that reads unallocated space. Proceed to select your drive and click next. As we previously stated, everything is going to be wiped from this PC. Now of course games and applications can be re-downloaded, but your precious pictures and videos may not be guaranteed to be recovered. We recommend backing up any data onto another drive when possible. Now if you have issues finding any specific drivers, feel free to contact our customer support as they can provide you the drivers for the PC that you have. 